Basically, anything can change our minds depends on how much of an impact it has on us. Be open to new experiences. I feel new experiences are definitely the core of what changes your mind. Perception. Uh, what we perceive as right or wrong, probably. I guess I would say our experiences are the main thing. I mean, um, not much else can, can change the way that you think other than what happens to you. I feel that people can change our minds a lot in our environments. Anything you could see basically can change your mind, I guess. Things we see and hear, I guess, people we interact with. I think experience is probably the first thing that changes our mind. Um, the first thing to influence our mind is likely our parents, but I think the first thing that changes our mind is usually experience, being confronted with what we deem to be reality. Many things can change our minds um, to the extent that the mind is uh, something that's uh, kind of generated by um, our biology uh, in some way, and um, I think that um, one of the things we're learning over the years is that um, as we continue to research these sorts of things is that it's it there's a broad spectrum of things that can change our minds from uh, just everyday experiences um, to the um, things that we get exposed to in our environment to um, things that we actively do to ourselves like do something like take drugs or um, get involved in in certain sorts of um, experiences. So I think uh, there's a long list of things that can potentially change our minds. I guess the big question is how long um, the mind stays changed um, and how, you know, in other words, how permanent that kind of change is. So I tend to be a monist in that um, I think that mind is an emergent property of brain. So I think when we talk about what changes our mind, we can think about what changes our brain. Um, and I think just about anything we do can change our brain. Um, so from thinking about what we eat, how, how well we've rested, I didn't sleep too well last night as I had already mentioned, that obviously changes my brain function and then my mind, um, my abilities. Um, I think um, neurochemicals in the brain, uh, I think um, different kinds of states, stress, um, excitement, all so sorts of things. So I think just about anything can change our minds. In the ordinary sense, what changes our minds is the weight of evidence, very definitely. But that weight of evidence is not always factual, and it's not always what the next person would think of as rational. So I think one thing that changes our, our minds very, very often is the quality of the source. And th by that I mean who's telling us. Today I'm going to say experience changes our mind. And the reason I'm saying that is because I'm currently teaching a class and I've just finished talking about experience-dependent brain development, which to me is really very, very interesting, where early in the postnatal period, the, what we're exposed to permanently affects how our brain develops. My first response is, what doesn't? The second one is the way the question's phrased. I think uh, initially about what changes your mind is in terms of uh, people who have opinions that change your minds, where sometimes um, people will be positive figures and whatever they say is what you want to believe, and other times it's not. Now that goes, that's at the most general level, I suppose. But then um, the other kinds of things that can change your mind um, would be what you eat, um, and I, uh, my research covers, touches on that a little bit, um, hormonal state, uh, mood uh, can change your mind. Um, so uh, pretty much anything that can change your mood, for example, can change your mind, change your ability to learn and remember, things of that sort. Um, and what can change your mood could be anything from um, a sunny day to coffee in the morning um, to having a good time or a bad time. All of those things can change mood.